like joining us for the latest Manjuri interviews, joint manager John Underwood. Um, you've not won at St Albans for Slough, we've been Slough at St Albans since 1999. You've not won on grass um, this season. It's still the same, but very tight game, not a lot in it, and maybe a little bit of mistake at the defence and a bit of bad luck causes that only goal. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, it was a tight game. I don't think it was a very good game, if I'm honest. I'm, I'm, if, I, if I'm a supporter watching that, it wasn't a high on quality game. Um, they probably edged it in terms of the quality they showed at times. Um, we didn't deserve to win the game. Um, could we have got a point potentially? But if anyone deserved to win it, it was probably them shaded it today in terms of the good chances they created. Um, yeah, we're disappointed. I think we've got to... We've got to work out how to come to grounds like this and, and get results. Um, just said to them in there, I back us at home at Arbor Park against any team in the league. I would always fancy us. Um, it's not good enough to be coming away like we did. You know, this was nowhere near Chippenham, but obviously we were awful at Chippenham. Um, we weren't awful today. We weren't bad, but and we and we and it's not like it's lack of effort or desire. I think some of the goals we conceded away from home just aren't good enough. You know, look back at Eastbourne, obviously Chippenham, and the, the goal today. They're soft goals. They're five minutes after half time. We'd actually started the second half better than they had. Paul stood next to Ian Allenson and he's, he's screaming at his players because we started the half better than they did. And they break from our set piece. And, and we've seen that. We saw that at Chippenham. They broke and we need to look at it. Are we not working hard enough to get back? Or are people making wrong decisions? It just felt all too easy for Goddard. I mean, he's a, he's a very good player. Um, but I'm sure we had two defenders between him and the goal when he picked it up and he's ended up getting a shot off. So not good enough from us. Are you also lacking a little bit up front with the fact that you haven't got Ben because you've got the young lads, you've got uh, Alfonso, yeah. you've got Tyler, yeah. you've got Imran on as well today. Are you lacking maybe a little bit of yeah. leadership and, and maybe yeah, the something experience different, just to kind yeah. of... Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. I think, um, again, maybe at home we haven't noticed it so much. I think... Um, Alfonso and Tyler have been a really good pair at Arbor Park and with the games probably played a little bit more on the ground than it is sometimes um, in other games. Um, I think we missed Ben today um, and that's his fault. He shouldn't have done what he did at Chippenham and he's missed three important games for us now. And um, yeah, I think when Max whipped that ball in and Imran didn't quite get his head in it, I said to Bake, that is a Ben Harris gets on that every day of the week because that's the type of player he is you know we're asking him around to go and attack those balls that's not Imran's game Imran's a more of a wider forward um, but yeah we've, it, it's left us short up there and, and um, you know obviously that changes now he comes back into the squad for the next game but we have we have we have looked a little bit yeah, today we looked a little bit um, um, one dimensional but we needed something different to, to ask a different question of uh, Matt Ledge came off um, first half with a little groin injury yep. is it Bad or is it just a precaution? Something he's, he's had recently and we've had to manage it and, and not overtrain him. Um, yeah, he, he felt it again today. So we have to have a look at what his next week looks like. And, and I don't think it's anything serious. I think it's something he's got to manage. Um, yeah, so he brought Max. And in fact, I think the change of shape when Max came on probably suited us a little bit. We um, we obviously started with a narrow midfield and I thought they were getting um, out in wide areas a bit too easy. So we almost kind of matched them up when Max came on. And I think that helped us. Um, today so but yeah I think in terms of the chances I think they had two very good chances first half Jeffers from the cutback where you'd expect him to score he didn't and then um, uh, Northy made a great save from Zane Bantam when he went through our best chance was Cooley I spoke to their keeper and I think Cooley got the chip right and it's a bit windy today and I think the wind just I think when he when he chipped it it was going almost one side of the post and it blew it across the goal which obviously was unlucky I think we'd have got in front it could have been a different game but we didn't create enough clear chances lots of balls in the box towards the end but as you said without maybe a Ben Harris um, we probably weren't the best equipped to get on the end of those um, It's been a tough week we know last week and uh, obviously the news of Neil's dad today yeah. but um, a really nice point where the Slough fans started clapping on 66 minutes and the yeah. game stopped for 30 seconds and the players joined in and yeah. just a mark we... of respect for yeah. a person yeah. who's a non-league legend <laughs> He is yeah yeah, it caught us off guard, actually, them doing that. We weren't expecting that. Uh, Neil, see, it's very fresh, and Neil was not looking for anything like that today. And, and uh, very nice. I would say everyone at um, St Albans has been really first class about it, management team, players, um, in terms of what they've said to Neil. And uh, that's been nice. And, and yeah, 
it was yeah unexpected but um, a really nice touch um, yeah it's been a very very difficult time for for Bakes and obviously particularly the last month and uh, we've not seen much of him quite rightly he's basically been a full-time carer for Keith so it's been really tough for him and hopefully coming here today has, um, has helped having people around him and a bit of normality for him um, but yeah it's it's been a difficult couple of weeks for the club all round really and and uh, yeah it, it, like there's those situations are bigger than football but it affects you it affects us um, clearly affects Bakes um, and, and for all of us it's been, it's been difficult it's been difficult we've kind of known this is coming and it obviously hit hit last night so um, yeah but no again I want to make a point of thanking Ian and St Albans they've been really good and hopefully um, yeah we can do something next weekend for, for Keith he, I, 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 uh, I know Keith very well obviously and um, he is a legend and he, he was a great man and, and uh, a great dad to Neil and uh, um, yeah the word le legend is used a lot but he was absolutely that as, as a player and as a, as a man so it'll be a big loss Thanks for joining us, John. All Thanks. right. Thanks, Aid.